All right, guys, so I wanted to do an unboxing video for you today. They seem to be somewhat popular. And this one is, as you can see, a double action revolver. And it's a Smith & Wesson. It's, um, I believe it was made in around 89 or 90. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, what it would look like to unbox a revolver from that time period from Smith & Wesson. They came in a cardboard box, as you can see. Back then, there was no plastic with the uh, foam inside. And uh, you'd lift the flap, and there'd be another interior cardboard box. And you'd open the flaps on that, and you'd get your, your handgun. It's wrapped in the, the oil paper, or whatever you want to call it. And inside that, in the trigger guard, you have a plastic insert to kind of hold the gun in place. And then you have the handgun itself. And this particular model is the Smith & Wesson 617. It's the 22 long rifle. Um, stainless steel. This one has been fired very little um, since it was new. It's in very good condition. Probably 98 or 99 percent. Um, this is the 617-0, so this was the first iteration of the 617, as you can see. Empty. This is the 6-shot. That's all they offered at the time, when these very first came out, was the 6-shot. Um, this is basically the stainless steel version of the Model 1722 by Smith & Wesson. It's uh, got the full underlug barrel, similar to the L-frame, and uh, it has a black front sight, stud front sight, it's not, it's not a ramp, um, has the uh, no white outline rear sight, it's just the black um, notch rear sight. This has forged hammer and trigger, um, it's been flash chromed, has the target hammer, and it has a grooved tar target trigger. It was mainly um, designed for um, target shooting or plinking. Um, probably the neatest option on this handgun are the grips. These are the original wooden grips from Smith & Wesson. I believe these were called the Finger Groove Combat Grips. Um, they have the Smith & Wesson emblem. And uh, they obviously they don't come with these anymore. They all come with the rubber hold grips. But these feel really nice in the hand. They're, they're filling. They're finished very nicely. Have a nice smooth finish to them. Um, they fill the fingers up and they give you a really good purchase on the gun. Um, these are quite expensive now to buy them separately, um, probably $150 or more, just for the, the wooden grips. Um, this is a square butt handgun, as you can see. Um, has the grooved back strap exposed. Um, I believe I said before, this is a six shot. There's no laser etching in this gun. It's all all the the stamped in 22 long rifle cartridge it says on the one side and Smith & Wesson on the other. Now when you dig a little deeper in the box with these older guns, you take the inner box out that has the oil wrapping and you have the warranty card and this one has never been filled out gun really has not been fired very much. You have the Smith & Wesson warranty statement and you have the revolver safety and instruction manual. And back then they would also give you these little goodies. Um, actually I guess these have never been taken out of the package. You have a cleaning rod, a brush, you have a uh, bristle brush, and a small screwdriver for um, the rear sight on the gun. Two different size blades for the two different for the for the windage and elevation. So this is what you would see when you unboxed a, unboxed a gun from this vintage. This one, like I said, is in really good shape. It's really a, uh, I guess you could call this a, it's becoming a collector's item now. It's it's uh, relatively in relatively high demand. They get quite high prices for these now on GunBroker or on other internet auction sites. But um, 
I think that a 22 revolver is really something that any gun enthusiast should have. Uh, it's, it's a great way to practice with the bigger, for the bigger centerfire revolvers. Um, this particular gun uh, simulates the weight of a, 350, of a 686 357 Magnum very well. Um, this gun probably weighs around 40 or 42 ounces for a 22 long rifle. So you can really simulate shooting a larger centerfire, centerfire gun um, with this with much cheaper ammunition. So, um, and on top of that, it's just plain fun to shoot 22s. You can go to the uh, to the range and shoot for half a day for 20 bucks. So, I would highly recommend this, the Smith and Wesson 617. Uh, nowadays, you have the option of a six-shot cylinder like this one or a ten-shot cylinder. Of course, now they have the lock. Um, they have metal-injected molding, um, hammer trigger. So things are a little different, but uh, my dad has one of the newer ones, and it shoots great. It's got the 10 shot, 6 inch, very similar to this one. Shoots awesome, double action pull is great. I would highly recommend it. So um, there you go guys, here's a nice vintage uh, late 80s, early 90s Smith & Wesson. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you next time.